I'm Chris Gamble, and I'm here in the African bush to answer one question. How does a bush survive in the bush? If you look at a food chain, up at the top you have carnivores, below them herbivores, and plants at the bottom. The carnivores take what they want when they want it. The herbivores have to watch out for the carnivores, but they've evolved ways to deal with the carnivores. Speed, agility, weaponry. Then you have the plants at the bottom. They're immobile. They just wait around for someone to come along and take a bite. In scientific terms, this is referred to as they're trying to deal with a hostile situation. I think the rest of us know, it just sucks to be a plant. Or does it? Over time, plants have evolved a huge variety of ways to survive. One of the most serious survival threats plants face is the threat of hungry herbivores. Fortunately, plants have evolved an effective solution. The threat of a mouthful of thorns is usually enough to discourage even the hungriest of visitors. Of course, there are exceptions. Fire. One of the most destructive natural forces on the planet. It kills indiscriminately without regard for animals or plants. And yet some plants have found ways to survive. Large trees have thick bark that's resistant to flames moving quickly through an area. Smaller plants will burn up, but the large trees survive and use the nutrients that goes into the soil. And the best part, they have no competition for months until other plants regenerate. Another set of plants that are adapted to survive in fire are grasses. When most of us think of grasses, we think of the long stems that are found above ground. But most of the plant is found underground in a complex root system. When fire comes through the area, it destroys the stems but leaves the root system intact. The grasses are able to regrow, and in three months' time, this area will look like a fire never occurred. One of the most amazing things that plants do is not to repel animals, but actually to encourage them to come in. I'm talking about fruit. Fruit is food packaged up for any animal to come and eat. Inside are little seeds the plant gives to the animal. They pass through the digestive tract and come out the other end. As a result, the seeds are dispersed far away from the parental plant and they get fertilizer. You've now seen some of the amazing adaptations plants use to survive. So next time you're in the bush watching an elephant or other animal, remember, it's not named for the animal, it's named for the bush. Thank you.